Hello, everybody. I'm John. And I'm Claire. And today we're talking about an article called Spectacular Recovery. Fortunately, this is not a medical recovery, so we don't have to worry about anyone being hurt in this, but more of a mental recovery. <laughs> uh, but more on that later. First, here's a little bit of a hint. We're back to the hints finally. Oh. <laughs> It's been like really obvious these days. Uh, what was your favorite subject in high school or in school general? School in general? Mm. Drama. Oh, yeah, of course. Definitely. I and should have guessed. With English literature as a close second. Ah, okay. Which is what you're kind of doing now. Yeah, drama and English literature. Exactly. Still my favorite things. Mm -hmm. Drama in the English class sometimes. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gets a bit heated. <laughs> I bet some books do actually have drama. Yeah. This month we did a book about can cannibalism. Oh, okay. Drama. That could be a different type of spectacular recovery. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, how about science? How, do, how well did you do in those science classes, the STEMs? I did okay. Mm -hmm. um, I did really love doing the experiments in chemistry. Oh. That was really cool. Mixing Goggles things up, making things blow up, you know. Did you really though? blow something up? Yeah, well actually we weren't allowed to do that <sighs> one. The teacher had to do it, but we, we sat there and saw it happen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, chemistry was quite fun. I was like, let me do that. Mm -hmm. I'd make it bigger. <laughs> Which is why they don't let you do it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Too dangerous, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Th yeah. Hated biology. That was mm. boring. Drawing plants, drawing cells, mm -hmm. growing geraniums, <sighs> dissecting a that? pig's heart. Yeah. That was awful. Yeah. Didn't yeah, like that's biology. Kinda hard. Yeah, and the smell. Oh. Yeah. A room full of wow. 30 pig's hearts. Oh, gosh, yeah. We had to do uh, cow lungs one time, not the dissection, but kind of like seeing how it looks and everything. Pink. And then we all had to like blow into it to see how it blow, like inflates and deflates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was, it was fun in a certain way and definitely disturbing in another. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, well then, go yes. ahead and check out the whole article if you can. It is not disturbing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we got to there here, <laughs> but um, it's actually kind of a fun uh, little article and a little bit uplifting, maybe even encouraging. So read the whole thing or the summary if you don't have the time and we'll see you in the next section. Spectacular Recovery. In his first year at Harvard, Manji Bawindi was overly confident in his talent for chemistry and completely flunked a big test. A lot of students drop out or change majors after this kind of failure, but Bawindi took it as a wake-up call and changed his study habits. This resulted in a successful academic career, PhD degree, and just recently, a Nobel Prize. But Wendy's realization that success comes not from talent but from developing and practicing the right habits changed his life.